Welcome back to Presidential Chronicles. Today, we are exploring presidents 16 through 20 like never before. Up first, Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation in 1863, which declared that all enslaved people in Confederate territory were to be set free. This marked a significant step towards the abolition of slavery in the United States. He presided over the country during the American Civil War, 1861 to 1865, and played a crucial role in preserving the Union. Lincoln delivered the Gettysburg Address in 1863, a concise and powerful speech that reiterated the principles of human equality and national unity. Lincoln, at 6 feet 4 inches, 193 centimeters, remains the tallest U.S. president to date. He often stood out in a crowd, quite literally. The White House is said to be haunted, and some believe that Lincoln's ghost still roams the halls. Even Winston Churchill claimed to have seen Lincoln's ghost while staying at the White House. Next up the 17th president, Andrew Johnson. Andrew Johnson became president after Lincoln's assassination and was the first U.S. president to be impeached by the House of Representatives in 1868. He narrowly avoided conviction in the Senate and remained in office. Johnson's presidency was marked by his efforts to implement a lenient reconstruction policy towards the defeated Confederate states, which faced strong opposition. The 13th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, which abolished slavery, was ratified during Johnson's presidency in 1865. Johnson had no formal education and taught himself to read and write. Johnson was known for playing practical jokes on his White House staff. He would hide under his desk and grab the legs of unsuspecting visitors. On to the 18th president, Ulysses S. Grant. Ulysses S. Grant was a prominent Union general during the Civil War and played a key role in the Union victory. He accepted General Robert E. Lee's surrender at Appomattox Courthouse in 1865. Grant's presidency saw the passage of the 15th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, granting voting rights to African American men. He implemented a peace policy towards Native American tribes, aiming to establish peaceful relations and protect their rights. Grant's real name was Hiram Ulysses Grant, but due to a clerical error at West Point, he became known as Ulysses S. Grant. Grant is often credited with popularizing the term lobbyist for political influence peddlers. The 19th president, Rutherford B. Hayes. Rutherford B. Hayes won the controversial presidential election of 1876 through the Compromise of 1877, which effectively ended Reconstruction in the South. Hayes was a strong advocate for civil service reform, working to eliminate patronage and establish a merit-based system in government appointments. His presidency was marked by a commitment to education and support for the construction of public schools in the South. Hayes was the first U.S. president to use a telephone, installing one in the White House in 1879. His phone number was simply, 1. Hayes and his wife, Lucy, were both ardent supporters of temperance and did not serve alcohol at White House social functions. Finally, our 20th president, James A. Garfield. James A. Garfield's presidency was tragically cut short when he was assassinated by Charles J. Guiteau in 1881, just four months into his term. He was a proponent of civil rights and education and was a strong advocate for African-American civil rights. He served as a Union Army general during the Civil War and fought in several important battles, including the Battle of Shiloh and the Battle of Chickamauga. Garfield had the rare ability to write in Greek with one hand while simultaneously writing in Latin with the other. Garfield's inaugural address, delivered on March 4, 1881, remains the longest presidential inaugural address in U.S. history. It lasted over 7,000 words. Thanks for watching. Which one of these presidents is your favorite? Comment below.